Shannon Sharp not joining the Freaks from Fox Sports 910. Of course, Ed Kenny and Crash at Fox Sports 910. Shannon, are you a big Twitter guy? Oh. Mm. I see, I see. <laughs> you dabble? A little bit. <laughs> I do. I do. I, you know, I, because I look at it like this. If someone's going to follow me and they're going to tweet me a question, I think they seriously want to know what I actually think about that. Now, sometimes what I've learned since being in this, in this business for over a decade is that people want the truth as long as it's not about them or the team. Oh. See, <laughs> now then, then if it's about them or the team, I want you to tell me to resume, you know, just a little bit, you know, but dress it up for me. And I just, and I've always been like this. Somebody's got to tell people the baby's ugly. Somebody's got to tell them the truth. <laughs> right. So that's my job. But Somebody's got to tell Belichick he's an a-hole. Yeah, and, and that, that, doesn't, that doesn't play well for everyone. Um, I, I, I think that, look, there's a certain decorum. Everybody wants to win. You And people will, oh, he wants to win so bad. Every coach wants to win. Every player wants to win. But when you don't win, that doesn't give you a reason to be the way he is. Sure. And, and that's the only problem. I think he's arguably the greatest head coach. And if you, if I had to, you know, you force me to bet some money, I would take him over just about anybody. But if you lose, but – but then again, he's always that way. I mean, doesn't it always look like you're pulling teeth or you're like, like you're forcing him to do an interview or he's like, we're on to Cincinnati. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're going to list the injury report. We'll give it to you next. We'll give it to you and so you can share it with everybody. I'm like, for real. But as a player, do you appreciate that? You, you personally, not other players, but you, do you appreciate your coach being that vague? No. I mean, players don't get to be that vague. I mean, you, you, you don't you, – if Marshawn Lynch can't come up there and say we're on, we are, uh, I'm just here so I can't get fined, he shouldn't be able to do that. And they say coaches should be held to a higher standard than the player. Now, I don't know who they are, but they said it, so I'm just repeating what they said. Now, are you okay with the fact, I mean, you talk about him being one of the greatest coaches of all time, and you, you would even have him as a head coach if you had a huge circumstance or a big game on the line. But are you okay with the fact that he probably bent the rules throughout his career? No, I'm not okay with that. No. I'm not okay with that. Um, and, and I think he's been uh, 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 punished accordingly for what he's done. Um, and so that's that's something that he's going to have to, to deal with. Um, I, I and, and the Patriots are a great organization. I, I love the way they do the thing. They win. They, they've made other te- the 31 other teams raise their level. And in order to be able to compete with them, you have to raise your level of play. The problem that I run into is with some of their fans is that all of a sudden from 1960 to 2000 didn't exist. It's like from 2001 <laughs> on, that's when the Patriots came into existence. I was like, I thought the Houston Texans came in around 2003, not the New England Patriots. But I, I get it. You know, fans are fanatic, but sometimes I think some fan bases can go overboard with it. Sure. Hey, how happy are you, though, for a guy that represented the Shield and represented the Shield the right way? Are, we, are you that we're, the most controversy we're talking about this year is Cam Newton's dancing and celebration on the sidelines? I'm like Allen Iverson. We're not talking about <laughs> we're not talking about the game. We're talking about dancing, not 35 touchdowns and 10 rushing touchdowns. We're talking about dancing. But is that were, not a game that the man lays it on the line for. He's diving over the pile. They're running lead draws with their quarterback. We're not talking about that. We're talking about dancing. We're talking about dabbing. Yeah. But better than deflated footballs. Man, look, <laughs> I, if, if, if Davin is the reason why Cam Newton is going to be MVP this year and why they got here, hey, there need to be a lot of other quarterbacks dabbing. Um, he, he's a phenomenal talent. He's played uh, uh, well all year long. And my thing is, is that if you like Cam Newton, you like Cam Luke, Newton. If you don't, the least little thing he does annoys you. And I think that's what we're seeing. Some people can't get past what happened at Florida. Some people can't get uh, past what transpired and how and why he got to Auburn. Whatever the case may be, he's been a model citizen since he's been in the National Football League. But I would have, can only imagine what would be said by Cam Newton if he was doing what Johnny Manziel was doing. Oh, absolutely. Now, I know the four of us at this table are big Cam Newton fans, but you and I, we have you played with the Broncos. Broncos have been my favorite team growing up and still. Do you have bias towards or with the Broncos? Do you want them to beat Cam Newton? I do. <laughs> I, I do. Proud. Uh, I, I think the thing is they're going to have to keep this game close early. They yeah. can't turn the football over because what we've seen in the playoffs, if you turn the ball over against Carolina, it's 31 nothing and it ends up 49-15. So they can't turn the football over. I think the game is going to be better than people think. Um, 
Peyton Manning has played well off the bye weeks. This will be his third game in six weeks, so he's basically getting you know two weeks in between almost every game. I like what I'm seeing for them. I think the defense is going to play well. It's a different task than what they had last week with Tom Brady because he couldn't beat you with his legs, and so you have to be careful. You just can't attack, pin your ears back, and go get him because if you miss him, he can go 40 yards on you to the house. And so uh, they got their work cut out for them, um, but I think this is going to be a very good ball game, and if they can take care of the football, I like their chances. Former Bronco, former Raven, three-time Super Bowl champ Shannon Sharp joins us right here on Fox Sports 910. And, Shannon, do you see this game maybe even being kind of like the Panthers not having the endurance? They're a bit of a younger team versus the veteran Broncos. Maybe the endurance is going to be what catches the Panthers out. No, I, I think what will catch them is that in the playoff, they've been able to jump out the big leads and they kind of coast home. Um, I, I think if the Broncos can keep this ball game close, getting to the fourth quarter, uh, here you are, six, seven minutes left in the ball game, and maybe Carolina has the ball or maybe the Broncos have the football, but it's a p close ball game. That's what you want to have happen. You don't want them to be able to run and hide and just sit back and just relax and kick the heels up while they got a 24 or 31-point lead. If they can get this ball game, if the Broncos can get to the fourth quarter and we have a tight ball game, the Broncos will like their chances. You've been there before. Is the Broncos offense taking this one and they're going to run with this as far as not getting any love? You've been on that Ravens team where all the defense got the credit and you guys went out there and rolled in the Super Bowl. Is the Broncos taking all the press clippings and piling them up and going to go out there with the chip on their shoulder? No. Uh, um, for me, that, that didn't bother me because you know why? Because I looked at my ring the other day and my ring had... <laughs> Just as many diamonds as Ray Lewis, as he was the MVP of that Super Bowl. So <laughs> it, it doesn't matter how I'm viewed at the end of the day. All I want to know is I want the confetti to rain down, and I want Mr. G Commissioner Goodell to hand that trophy to my team, to, to my team's owner. And if they do that, um, doesn't matter how they got there or who, who did what. Uh, it, it comes down to I think the Broncos are going to have to play well in all three areas, take care of the football, get to Cam Newton, and not give up any big plays. And uh, – if they do that, they're going to have to feel good about their chances. And there's the a little game. emotion for Bolin. I would have to assume they're playing with a little bit of emotion, too. They, they, there is, because they know, what this, they know what Mr. B means to this team. They know how much he would love to be there. He's not there. His family will be there. Uh, and and the, 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 the fans of Denver realize how special the Broncos have been for since he's owned the football team. Um, it's it's, it's going to be a great atmosphere, and, and I'm, I'm happy for it for John and Gary and all the guys that, that that's a part of this. Um, I'm just hoping for a very, very good football game on Sunday night. Shannon Sharp joining the Freaks of Fox Sports 910. And Shannon, you and I have something in common. You know what that is? What's that? I took a paycheck from Discovery Channel for six months. <laughs> I hosted a show called Zig and Zag Alpha Dog oh. Challenge. These Here weren't puppies. We These were big ass dogs <laughs> rolling through tunnels and ladders and so forth. But you're part of the Puppy Bowl? I'm, I'm the Puppy Bowl Challenge where the uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame and the Animal Planet teamed up with the Puppy Bowl, created the Puppy Bowl, and all it is is basically bringing awareness to pet adoption. Uh, there are a lot of animals that need loving homes. Uh, I'm, I'm an animal lover. I grew up on a farm. Um, I have four dogs now. I have two Pomeranians, Taz and Tarzan. I have two Bully, Bull Mastiffs, Titan and Tonka. So I've, I've, always been a, I've always been an animal lover. I've especially been a dog lover. There's nothing like coming home and, and they're barking and going crazy and they, they don't want to do anything until you, you know, pet them on the head, play with them, scratch their belly, go outside in the backyard. Um, th that's a great feeling to come home and, and to know you're appreciated like that. You ought to get a sponsor like from Perina. <laughs> I, that's a lot of cake for those dogs, bro. It, 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 it is. And the big, well, and both of the big dogs eat special food because one of them's on a diet because he had gotten bit so big so fast. And so uh, it's not cheap, and they, they eat an awful lot. Shannon Sharp, Jordan the Freaks of Fox Sports 910. Thanks for the time, bud. Thanks for having me on, guys.